Your team's the Lakers. Can you see them acquiring Kyrie somehow? I can see them pursuing Kyrie, Skip. I don't know if they have the assets. Yep. You know, Skip, I, there's this house up in Malibu I'm really looking at, but I don't have the assets to, acqu to acquire it, Skip. I don't know. You're talking about a guy like Kyrie. Obviously, there are teams that are more suited, that have assets that they can give the Nets, a, a Norman Powell or Morris or Luke Kennard, in which Storms were, were, were alluding to, or Reggie Jackson. They also have some young pieces in the Terrence Mann. I just don't know unless you go, what, you're going to package Anthony Davis? That, well, that kind of defeats the purpose. You want to keep Anthony Davis and pair him with, uh, uh, excuse me, keep AD and LeBron and pair Kyrie with those guys. Sure. So, yeah, skip. The dude averaged 27, 6, and 4 last year. He's a flat-out bucket getter. Yes, we know what him, the, 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 the chemistry that he and LeBron had. We saw what they did together. Went to three Eastern Conference fi uh, mean, uh, NBA Finals, won one. Yep. So we know what Kyrie is. He's a dynamic scorer, as we've seen. Very few guys have been able to handle the ball like he can, finish at the rim, mid-range, three Free throw. He has it all offensively. He has no weakness in his game offensively. Mm. I just don't know if the Lakers have assets to acquire Kyrie. Mm. There are going to be a lot of teams, Skip, if he opts out of this deal and he becomes a free agent because it seems like to me Brooklyn is tired of his bull giant. That is correct. That's what it seems like to me. Now, I could be wrong. This could be some posturing on both of those. Kyrie's like, I want a max deal with no stipulations. They say, look, we can't, we'll can't. we give you a max deal, but it's only going to be a two- or three-year max deal, not the full five years. But it seems to me they're kind of fed up with each other. Kyrie don't like kind of how they hung him out to dry. They don't like how Kyrie feels like he can just take time when needed. Uh, you know, they call it the CTO, choice time off. Yep. And Kyrie seemed to have a lot of that stored up. And the Brooklyn Nets says, nah, bro, we're not, we're, not, we're not with that bull job anymore. We're trying to win a championship, and I don't know if your antics is, 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 is conducive for us doing that, Skip. But, yeah, the Lakers should try. But with what? That's the question. <laughs> we got some, okay. They got some statues out in Monument Park. Yep. They give you the Kobe, the Magic, and the Kareem yep. for Kyrie. But what assets you got other than LeBron and, and AD? Okay. You now, take Russ? You want Russ to read that with KD? There you go. <laughs> now back to your original premise. Why is Kyrie falling apart with the Nets? It's because the Nets have seen and heard enough yeah. of Kyrie. They're questioning, are you really worth another max deal? Because we don't believe you have nearly the same passion for basketball you used to. And Kyrie has gone on Facebook Lives again and again to question the importance of basketball in his life. Yeah. Many things are more important to Kyrie right now. That's great by me, but you can't get a max deal. Yeah. You can't come save the Lakers if you don't really care about basketball the way you used to. And, and right? Skip, the owner, what's the owner for the Nets? No, Joe, Cy. Joe Cy? Yep. He's a billionaire, right? The no, most I important said. thing to him is money. <laughs> well, he said, well, if, if basketball is not the most important thing and which requires me to mm -hmm. pay you my money, yep. well, I need that thing to match. I need my money, which is important to me, mm -hmm. to match up with you, basketball being important to you, then I got no problem with these two things meeting. Yep. But if one of them, you not that inspired to play, and you want me to go all in on my money side, uh, that ain't working, Skip. It got to make dollars and cents. Especially after the vaccination fiasco yeah. that I believe completely discombobulated the Nets and ultimately derailed them okay. psychologically last year. They just weren't right going into the playoff series, and it manifested itself right before your very eyes. They got swept. Kyrie wasn't right. KD as as the best friend of Kyrie, but more of a follower than a leader because Kyrie was supposed to be the leader of the Nets. Mm -hmm. He was the one who put the team together. He was the one who told Kevin, you've got to follow me to Brooklyn. No, we don't want to go to the Knicks. We want to go right. to the Nets. They're my team growing up. They were the New Jersey Nets, and I grew up in New Jersey. And you know the rest of the story. Well, there is no story because <laughs> Kyrie became – the worst story in the NBA this year because he completely undermined the unity of that team. Right. And so now, even if you're the Lakers, if I could just snap my fingers and make him a Laker right now, are you sure he would save the day? Are you sure his head is in the right space to be LeBron's co-star? I know they have forgiven and forgotten. LeBron and buried a therapist, the hatchet. man. Huh? LeBron is a therapist. Yeah. Because think about what he got Kyrie to do, he something did. Kyrie hadn't been I able to do at any other stop. I get Boston that. or the Nets. And For ever since, Kyrie's been saying, ah, I, 
I look back and I learned my lesson. You know, I was yeah. wrong. I was wrong. Yeah. He has apologized a hundred times yeah. for I, I was too immature. I grew up right. after I left and I learned this is the way it should have been and we should have stayed together, blah, blah, blah. Okay. W would he go right the wrong at this stage and age of his career? I don't see it. But now we get to the reality of the situation. The first thing you would have to do is get out from under LeBron's biggest mistake of his career <laughs> as a GM, <laughs> and that's West Brick. It, it's so hard. What team out there, seriously, what team is going to say, you know what? We will take that $47 million off your hands because we want West Brick to lead the league in turnovers for us. We want him to finish dead last in three-point shooting for us. We want Russell Westbrook to finish dead last in free throw and three-point shooting for us. Well, what team would do that? Well, I tell you what I would be willing to do. I'd be willing to put Kevin Durant in my top ten if he were to win a title with Russ. He would have to. He would have to vote. Okay. Well, is that what you want? That what I want. Do, do you think Joe Sy would say, sure, we'll do that? No, I don't do, think. Do you think the brain trust there? <laughs> do you think they'd say, sure, we'll we'll, we'll just swap them straight up? Oh, uh, hell no. Nah. Russ for Kyrie. But first of all, Skip, if you swap them straight up, you could have to kick in extra because Russ makes $47 million, Kyrie makes $36 million. So you have to give another player, and the Nets ain't really trying to do that. And, and remember, the next stop, Kyrie's going to want I, I'm an artist, he says. Yeah, we, I, we I, I want $47 million. Yo, we got that for him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and since he's an artist, he wants to go put motifs on billboards. <laughs> yeah. He's going to put up pay, murals. Yeah, yeah. He if can he put up Laker murals and put him in the all-time top five Lakers. We'll let right? him do that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll let him do that. Mm. Shannon, it ain't happening. Damn. Pie in the sky. Okay, well, I like pie. Well, I'm reaching for the sky then. It's a nice holiday thought, but that's going to be the end of it. Well, I want to wish with the Clippers. Yeah. That's what you Listen, want. Listen, yeah, the, the Vegas odds going into today yeah. had Kyrie to the Clippers number one in their odds of, of all and you, the and, – and you know what? I, I said last week, I didn't say it on the show, but but there's no way if I'm the Clippers I want Kyrie Irving because they're good with what they have. Nah, I bet you want Kyrie. They get Kyrie, you're like, we're winning the title next year. Mm, we got Reggie Jackson. You know, I'll take Reggie Jackson right now as a fit, as a fit because he's a good guy. He's best friends with Paul George. The fit is better. If you bring in Kyrie, you better be ready because a lot of waves are going to get made. I mean, look, you got, he's going to come in like I'm Kyrie and you're not. Right. right. I mean, you got Kawhi that's quiet and mercurial. I mean, you got Kyrie. And, you know, hey. remember you got two Southern California kids. They're not kids anymore, but in Kawhi and Paul, Paul George, George. Yeah. And they came here because they wanted to be near home. Right. And they are, and they're happy. And I think that owner is very happy with the makeup of the team and with the coach who I think is the best coach in the league who's still coaching the. Clippers. Clippers, which is why the Clippers have the fourth best odds as we speak to win it all next year. Okay? Um, I mean, if Kyrie came to the Clippers, man, that can't happen. No. Well, are you, you say you would fear it? Yeah. I would fear it for the Clippers. No, I would fear it for the rest it of the league. It will not happen. With, with Ty Lu, you know, Ty Lue, Ty, Lue was a, Ty Lue was able to maximize Kyrie. He did. He knows how to talk. But I do give LeBron high marks for what he pulled off also. That's what but we that do. That doesn't mean that LeBron's the goat. Oh, the yeah, he goes, he, yeah, that's he's the a goat. therapist. That closes the case. He's a therapist. He's the therapist. It would be a feeding frenzy, and I'm here for it. We need some summer drama. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show, and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed, or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.